Buyers and sellers are appearing to be in a holding pattern right now when it comes to buying and selling a home. Hey, I'm Mel with the Market Mel Team EXP Realty, and we're going to go over the most recent Cromford report and information that applies to the Phoenix metro area when it comes to the housing market. And we'll go over some national statistics that show what is going on in the housing market when it comes to buying or selling a home. So interest rates have been hovering in the high six and low 7% range for the last three months, keeping many buyers on the sidelines and sellers reluctant to give up that lower rate mortgage that they have. Buyer activity measured by listings under contract is down significantly from normal for this time of year and seller activity measured by new listings is down even further below normal. Housing inventory is picking up week over week. So it is increasing. This is a great thing. It usually happens at the end of every year because buyer demand goes down. When they have the heat and they're off with summer and they're getting ready for school, whatever, for some reason at the end of the year, usually buyer demand goes down. Now this is a good time for buyers that seriously want to buy and get the best deal, get more concessions from sellers. It's a good time to look for a deal. Um, for sellers, you may have to have that home on the market a little longer. You may have to offer more seller concessions or lower your list price, especially since the values are flat. This graph will show you. And if you're finding any value in this, I ask you to please like and subscribe. I'm trying to increase our like and subscribers to our channel. We try to put as much valuable content out there that is really accurate. Over 30 years, we've tried to just help and serve the community with excellence through experience. We have vetted realtors across the nation. Whether you're buying or selling, just give us a call, a text, or email. Also, anybody out there know what Nebo is? Somebody who boats will know what Nebo is. So comment if you know what Nebo is. All right. So we'll get back to it now and watch till you find out what is around the corner. Are we going to get see those lower interest rates? The ratio between supply and demand is keeping Greater Phoenix in a very soft seller's market. The conundrum we have here is we have lower buyer demand because of the interest rates that went up so drastically. And when you had prices, they increased so dramatically over the last two years. How can anybody's income meet the need to pay for that over 50% appreciation home? It is very difficult right now when the, you have that appreciation that happened almost overnight, in addition to the interest rate hikes, which really puts a kibosh on things because it raises the payment so much more. But this is what the Fed wanted to do. Because housing shelter in place is a significant portion of the inflation out there. Significant. And they fortunately did what they did when they did it. Because can you imagine the prices still increasing out there? And not just with prices of homes, but also with rent. That It is working. Some people say there's a lag effect and it's going to be really dramatic and that you can't do this too long. I don't know about where you are in the country, but in Arizona, we have great employment outlook. So when you have great employment, you have people coming here still, you keep demand high. And if those if those interest rates go down, if the if Fed dropped them and interest rates with all the lenders went down, guess who would buy, hop in first? Yes, it would be investors, investors. We had investors, purchasing over 40% just at, around our neighborhood. They, they own so much of the single family residents out there. And comment if you think that is right. I mean, do you not care? Do you think the next generation really doesn't care? Maybe they just want to have to be renting for the rest of their life and not have the opportunity or option to buy a single family home. I don't know. 
I hear two camps. One says, nah, they just want to rent. They just want to rent. I believe that those people would want to purchase over just renting because they could build their equity. I mean, it's hard to keep up with rent sometimes, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people would rather rent out there. I personally kind of wish my, you know, my future gen generation of kids and grandkids could own their own home um, and establish that real stability in their life to where they don't have to worry about their rent going up or they can have a dog if they want, or they can have two dogs if they want. And they don't have a landlord telling them, no, they can't. I think there's a lot of people that in the next generation that still want to buy a house. Let me know your thoughts. And we still helping sellers sell. It's just random. It's all over the board. Some people are getting sold with multiple offers if they price right. Some are priced right. And they're sitting on the market with just crickets. It is so random. And I, after 30 years of appraising real estate, I know lots of appraisers that are just scratching their heads going, I have no clue what's going on out there. I don't know whether it's going to go down or if it's going to stay the same or if it's going to go up. They're trying to do the best with the limited comparables they have, including realtors. It's a hard one to figure out. You don't want to overprice the property and be chasing price down if you've listed it too high. And you don't want to also over offer as a buyer. You don't want to over offer. Now, for buyers, like I said, it is going to be crickets for a while. We personally believe it's just going to be flat for quite a while. It just won't go down because you've got all these people, like I said, all these investors that may, it's their livelihood to flip homes, to wholesale homes, to, um, to invest in rentals, whether it's short term or long term. There are so many more people doing that for work right now, because in the last two years, they got such great appreciation. They thought it's easy way to make money. See, but you can see over time, Rents usually stayed very stable. Usually appreciation was pretty predictable. And the last two years have been atypical. So what happens is it takes time. It, though, yes, this isn't 2008, but it sure does rhyme. We do have all indications of a recession. So that's why you have 50% of the people out there talking, it's going to be a major depression. And you have 50% of the people out there saying, no, it's going to be a soft landing. So what do you think? Do you think it's going to be a soft landing or do you think that it's going to be a hard landing? I'd really like to know your opinion because it takes renters a chance to see another rental over there and move out of their rental because that one's the lower price. It takes time for sellers to realize I'm not selling my home. I need to lower the price. All of this takes months, months, you guys. So, so the reality is that this is going to take time months. So we won't even see this change, this softening happening till probably 2024. So until then, if you need to buy a home or you need to sell a home, then you just do it smartly, right? But the good thing is, is that speculators are really going to be feeling this time. They are really going to be feeling that if they didn't, if they can't cover their mortgage with the rent, they will put it on the market and they will sell it. Uh, but they will maybe be vacant for a while. They will go in their savings for a while. And this is going to take time to play out. Um, if you're an investor, you're if you're a seasoned investor, you are being very careful. I mean, Mark and I have fixed and flipped over 50 homes. We've done this for a long time. And we felt the pains too of the, the recession. I don't care what causes that recession. It gets painful. Let me tell you, we saw people, we saw people in foreclosure, that takes seven years, seven years, you guys, to come out of. So when those people were coming out of it, and yeah, they did come out of it, and yeah, prices did come back, and yeah, they were able to jump back into the market. But the smart ones were the ones that conserved their cash before that crash, and they picked up those deals on the other side. So now's the time not to max out your credit cards, not to max out your liens, although Banks are ready for you to do that. Prices aren't dropping, um, dramatically sliding down. 
they will soften over time as this plays out. Um, but really, you know, this, like I said, it takes time for this information and data to show up so that people know exactly how to price correctly, how to offer correctly. If their agents are taking care of them, they are analyzing the heck out of this because if they want to do right by their home seller or their home buyer, they are analyzing this stuff and they're looking at it and they were sharing it like we share with you. So what's the latest employment? Okay, like I said, in Arizona, we have a strong labor force and it continues to grow faster than the U.S. growth rate. The unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in Arizona since 2007. So the Fed meets again at the end of September. So do you think that they will raise rates, keep them the same, or lower rates? I really would like to know what you think. I think they won't lower rates for sure, because if they did, they risk going into uh, another hyperinflation. If they lower if they lower rates you're going to have so many more buyers jumping in including investor buyers people are getting comfortable with this rate people are getting comfortable with this mortgage rate and they are buying anyway and so, probably not going to lower it until it, into 2024 i'll say i'll bet money <laughs> and mark and i've had rentals before we've done uh, over 50 fix and flips are we doing it now no no we know what happens when you max yourself out right before a recession. I'm Mel with the Mark and Mel team with over 30 years of excellence through experience. See you next time.